All right, in this video, we're gonna cover how to use Dr. Juice to maximize your effectiveness. This is an amazing scent. I've never been a scent believer until I came across this one. It has been, it has been really cool. It is unique. And so we're gonna cover the uniqueness and how to use it and make sure that you, that you get all the benefits without any cons. So as far as the cons, we'll just start there. So the con is that this is oil-based, meaning that if you get it on stuff, it's not gonna wash off with water. That's why it stays on so long. So the pro is that it stays on so long. The con is if you get on your boat or your kayak or yourself, it, it's gonna be on there for a while and, it, and it's quite potent. It, it definitely, uh, definitely has a strong scent. And so as far as minimizing the odds of it getting anywhere, so here's a couple tips. So number one is when you're doing it, especially if you have the spray, right, do it on, over the side of the boat and do it on the downward side of the boat. That way, um, whatever spray is missing is going off into the water. It's not bad for the water. It, uh, again, the only bad thing about it is just the oil base and it'll stick to stuff on the boat. So do it over the side, even with the dropper. In many cases now, I just do it over myself and I just start at the top and just have it angled slightly down and just have a thin little, uh, a thin little line of, of Dr. Juice on there. That way the gravity will take it down. I also you know, get my hand in there and, uh, and just make sure that I have a nice coating around the entire lure. That's the, what I found is the best way to make sure that this scent is on there good and that it's spread out evenly and that it'll stay, it'll last as long as possible. Um, for maximum effectiveness, do it on the dry lure. Do it before you make your first cast. Even on top waters, I put it on my top water plugs and it's shocking how effective this is, even though it's a, it looks like it's a slippery substance, it looks like it's water, it's not water. This is oil-based and it will stick on soft plastics. It'll also stick on hard plastic. So don't be afraid to put on that. So what I do is I, I lather it up, make sure it's good. And then I also touch on all the knots, right? We do not, human scent is a negative scent. So we wanna make sure that we cover all of our exposed, our exposed spots, the areas that we've touched. And even sometimes, right, if, you, if you've been having your hands all over the leader line, I just go down the whole leader. And uh, again, that'll just help just make sure to not only have good scent in the water, but just as importantly is to mask the negative scent. Uh, one caveat though, is when you do this, right, you do have a nice layer of scent and on your first cast, some of this will likely come off on your, on your aggressive cast. So before you make your first cast, in many cases, it's smart just to go ahead and dip it, dip it in the water really quick. That'll, that'll just wash off any excess that you have on there. And again, this is the fact that it's oil-based, that, that water does not take that thin layer on the, on the edge away. Um, it lasts a very long time. It lasts longer than any gel scent I've ever used. And as far as how long it lasts, I usually let it go for maybe like an hour um, or so of, of hardcore fishing. It'll, it's, again, even though it's that thin little liquid, it holds on the materials shockingly well. It works for soft plastics like this. I even put on my topwater plugs. I put it really, I put on every lure now. So both hard and soft plastic, it lasts a long time. So that's the, the key things is make sure when, when you're applying it, keep it over the side of the boat. Uh, when you first make that application before that cast, remember dip it in the water, make sure that you're not slinging that stuff around because you can have little spots and, uh, and nobody wants that. And if you do get in your boat, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. It's very easy to get off, but you, all you have to do is just get some dishwashing detergent. It's like, so some like Dawn or pretty much any, uh, any dishwash detergent that is designed to break up oil. And again, this is oil-based solution. So that's the, the quick thing. So get a little bit of Dawn on a, on a paper towel and like literally like one little swipe, it's gone. So super easy to get off, but it's just easier to not even have to deal with it. So uh, that's it for now. Just wanted to share what I've learned so far as far as the application for this scent. If you have any questions or if you found anything different, please let us know. Use that comment section down below. Otherwise, hope you enjoy this stuff. I can't wait to see some great fish you catch. And uh, when you do, yeah, please do make sure to share it and on social media or send us emails. We always love seeing some success stories. So thank you again. Have a good day and we'll see you soon.